Good afternoon and welcome to a brief overview on Naviance. So this is a newer program we plan to roll out this fall in our secondary schools. It's going to be used in middle school and high school. Um, it will be used similar in both uh, secondary locations, but it will also be used different at the same time in the need for use with our students. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to jump to right here and it's going to talk about um, Naviance and what it is and introduce it a little bit more to you. It is a fully integrated platform. It's designed to help raise student accountability and performance across a number of key indicators, including increased engagement, improvements in academic performance, overall workplace and college readiness, and connecting their learning to real life. So there's going to be five parts on the student side of Naviance that they're going to work with um, pretty closely with. The staff side will have a little bit more because obviously we need to do a little bit more with their college career and readiness. So the first bubble we're going to look at is the career exploration. You'll see this across the middle school and high school. Students can explore careers and their interests. Um, while meeting those career and technical education requirements. So they'll have the ability to research and dive deeper into what that career means, what education is required, what skills, um, even locations and salaries for where it's located. Then we're gonna look at the yellow bubble for college planning, which improves and reports on college and career readiness while providing research and application tools. So this is, um, you're gonna see this used more in the high school level we're we'll working with those students on making their plans for after high school. So these are those students that are looking into college and they can dive into there. The next piece is success planning. You, this is where the guidance counselor and teacher will come in to work with the students on helping them to be successful. There will be a scope and sequence that will be released to be used for each grade level for what content should be used and explored in Naviance. Um, there are assessment students will take so you will work together on this one and they will be using that all the way up through grade 12. The next piece is course planning. Um, we're excited for this piece as students will be able to use those uh, sheets at the schools where they make their course selections to actually go onto Naviance and make those course selections and have that um, responsibility on themselves and accountability to do it there within the program. So that will be coming later. It's still in works right now. Um, there's not much to see, but it will be coming and it will be connected to our graduation pathways. The last piece on this bubble is the self-discovery. And this piece right here is going to be very essential as there's eight assessments in there that we're going to give our students. Um, you have the opportunity to take them as well. And it's going to find their skills, interests, um, what they might be good at, and start to give them ideas for careers to explore, which will then help them to decide whether they want a post-secondary education or not, or if they're gonna be looking for some different work-based learning opportunities. So this course is meant to be an introduction to the site, how to navigate, and the different features it offers. You'll be introduced to the planning dimensions found in Naviance and how they work together to increase engagement, improve academic performance, and encourage workplace and college readiness. You will also start to explore that student experience within Naviance. So before we get to the site, I want to give you, <laughs> I wanted to give you a pro tip that our Naviance trainer has given us, and that is, it's kind of like Schoology, to the left, to the left, like Beyonce, and you will find most of your navigation, and then you will also have that navigation bar at the top. So now we are ready to dive into the site. So most users will access it through their Clever account. There's a handful of staff that will have to go straight to the website which is id.naviance.com. Those users should know who they are, but everyone else will come right into your Clever. And right here, it's a greenish teal icon. It's labeled Naviance. Go ahead and select it and you can dive right in. Maybe we'll get in. There we go. So here is the landing page. So it has a navigation bar at the top, 
and then to the left to the left like Beyonce is some more navigation and then the main page is going to give you various announcements as well that you can interact with. You can also see what school you are in. So I am in Black Hawk Middle School. Um, some users up here in the left will say District Edition. Those are those users that need to go in to Naviance the other way, which is through the site link versus Clever. And they will have access to various different schools. Um, most users will just see this generic Naviance. So this right here, this logo, if you select this anywhere in the site, it will bring you back to this home screen. So think of that as your home button. And then we have the navigation bar. And if you remember back to that graphic with the five bubbles, you will see some of those bubbles here. And I also said the staff will have a couple extra bubbles. So you also will have extra the students. So this is not on the student side, this is on the staff side. So you're able to look at students within here. Then you have that planner piece. This goes back to that scope and sequence and where you're gonna work with the students on the various aspects of this program. Here is courses to see the course catalog, the plans of study, which relate back to the graduation pathways. Scholarships, this is where those will be built. Obviously students at the high school level, this is where they would wanna go to start looking at those not applications, scholarships to apply to for their colleges if that's the path they chose. Then we have the colleges tab. We can make some quick lists here so that you can, this quick list is based on the highest ranking colleges our students in our district apply to. So that would be a quick way for our students to see those in our district. Then they can explore careers or even the career clusters that go with it. And this is where you can build those work-based learning opportunities. I know those are essential for a lot of those graduation pathways. And then you have connections where you can start to email or send reminders and even build those surveys to give to the students. So each of these tabs here have about a two hour PL that go with them. Obviously for today, we're not gonna dive that deep into all of these. This is just gonna be a quick and um, fast tour of these. And then there's gonna be more PLs coming that dive deeper into each of these. So let's get started with the students. The first thing you're gonna use a lot of is the student roster. So when we search, you can browse by grades or graduation years, how it's listed. So you would select the grade. I am at a middle school. And when you search, you have to do by last name or last name, first name. So that is very important. So I will type in a name. And there was only one student at that school with that name and they pulled it up for me. And now I'm able to look at their profile. So I will hit the back button so I'm not putting all their information out there. But this way you can see that's a quick way to get to that piece. Um, you can also filter it so it would show all the students for that grade. So that's what I was doing there when I hit student roster. It was showing all the grades. So if I go through the alphabet here, I will only be seeing the class of 2026. If I want to work with my incoming sixth graders, I would just toggle that and it would flip my data over to my incoming sixth graders. In their profiles, you might want to see more information there. We are working on getting some more information added to there with our sync. Right now in the back end, a lot of our stuff is shut down. So we will get that information added, such as phone numbers, parent demographics. So it's all in one place for you. So the next piece under students I wanna show is groups. So this is a way to group students together, whether academically by um, academic groups, uh, like ELL, special education, leadership groups, different pathways they're on, maybe music programs. Um, we've added at the district level, AMP Lab, Career Academy and CAS Anthus, as well as YLS. So those students, if they're from your building and go to those programs, you can put them in those special pools for those schools to communicate with their students or do their work with them. So there's really no limit to the groups you make and how you use them. It's up to you. Um, whatever you name the groups here, students cannot see it. So how you group them and sort them here is just known to you and any other staff users in the district. Students will never know that piece. So going over to our next tab, which is Planner. Um, so this is used to design those tasks and programs for students. All the programs, which is gonna be full of tasks per grade level based on that scope and sequence. 
those will be sent out at the district level at the beginning of the year. So you don't have to worry about sending those out. We will get those out and then we will also continually as students, new students come to our districts, we will continue to push those out. Um, there's also a goal area and there's goals for each grade that students can set and they can also set their own goals outside the ones that we have set as well. Then here's that courses tab. I went over this briefly earlier. Um, this is still under construction. This is where those graduation pathways will be where they select their courses. Scholarships and colleges go together. Um, scholarships gear up office will be putting most of those out there at the high school level. Um, guidance coordinators and counselors in those buildings. We've spoken with them. They know who to contact about scholarships that are specific to their buildings to make sure we get them on there for students in your building. And then there's the college piece. If you're a teacher, you might have a student send you a request for a letter of recommendation. That will be done through Naviance, and we have more training coming on that here in August and September. So be looking for that, because we will have your help and assistance with that and getting those students those letters. And guidance counselors and coordinators will work with students to make sure they gather all that information with them. And then obviously that colleges tab, that's where I said that quick list would be, so we can make those as well. And then at the high school, this is where the gear up would also be working on your visits as well for when your colleges come in. And then moving over to careers, this will be used um, a lot in middle school as well as high school. Um, so this helps students to realize their goals, skills, knowledge, values, and interests to help them make those better academic or life decisions. Um, when you look at it from the staff side, it's not visually as appealing as it is on the student side here in a little bit. I will show you what it looks like from the student side. And they can literally just click into a career they like. When they search for the career though, it's very specific to the spelling. So if the spelling is pretty bad or they're struggling, you might have to help them spell the career to help them find it. But it gives them an overview, the description, what other occupations are related to it, how they could major for it in college. And then they can keep going through these tabs to see what skills are needed, the different types of tasks and activities they would do in that career. Then you can also start to see the wages based across the country in the different regions. And then when you get to the students tab for us, it's gonna to start to show what students have favored of that career. And you can start to see in the sixth grade how many students would be interested in this acting career and see all the different plots. So that's a really unique, unique feature to this program as well. Then we have connections. And I said, this would be where you would email, send reminders, or if we created a survey at the district, get that sent out as well. Then there is analytics. Obviously, you don't want to have to sit here and try to manually go see where students are at. You can use the reports beta tool here to find reports on the different things students have done to get that mass look at what the students have done in the site or the work they have done. So now we're ready to do the student side. We're going to hit the Naviance icon to get back to the beginning. Then we're going to do to the left of the left like Beyonce, and you're going to see the green demo Naviance button. Everyone will have access to the demo Naviance. Everyone has a demo account. So when we were back on the student roster on the teacher side, you actually can look up your demo account. In a later PL, I will show you how to look up your demo account so you can see more how the profile works. So here is the student, not this, yeah, yes, the student site, sorry. So it'll say welcome demo sites. It always has your last name. So I'm masquerading as a counselor right now. So it's showing their last name. Up here is the student's navigation bar. Remember back to the five circles at the beginning. Here are those five circles. So those are specific to the student experience. Then continuing over, you will see this demo with the drop down. You automatically default to demo, but I can filter it by grade level because each grade level has a different experience set up inside Naviance. And it hasn't been working lately to switch grade levels and I can't figure out why. I'm hoping it works better for you as you just have the single account and I have multiple. 
So just go ahead and work with it. But the demo should show you almost everything. I can tell you it's missing the welcome message. Every school will have a welcome message here. This is maintained at the district level. So if there's something that needs changed here, work with the gear up office to get it changed. Then over here to the right is everything they have favorited. So the colleges are thinking about maybe if they are at high school, they have applied to colleges. So you're able to see it here, or this is where they would go to see it. Courses they're thinking about taking within FWCS and then the different careers and clusters they're interested in based on the different surveys and assessments they have taken. So then scrolling down, you're going to find the important to do's and tasks. This is that planner piece. If you remember back to me saying on the staff side, this is where we push out the tasks and programs that relate back to the scope and sequence. This is where the students are going to find the work they need to do within Navians. So this would be, it would show you the top three. It's very random. So it doesn't give you that complete look. That is why this button is here to quickly get you to see all of the stuff that they have been assigned. So then scrolling down, you're going to see from my school, you'll see your school's address with their logo. It'll take you to your school site, but then there's this area for quick links. And based on some discussions with the gear up office and guidance counselors, we've added a few links here that are quick links to get students places. Then there's pages and these are quick little um, information bites that are out there for students to see. So if I would select graduation pathways, it opens it up and I can see the different information I've added videos and links that are here. So this is just some quick information that is specific to the district or school. And then there's the update section. So this entire section down here is maintained at the district level. So if you want items changed here, you would need to work with the gear up office to get that changed. So that's why for school updates, we are still going to be using Schoology. So every school should be linked to their Schoology page because we still want you to use your school page to make those announcements to families. So going back, there we go. So back on the home page, um, if you didn't want to hit all those home button or the back buttons so many, so many times, you do have the logo here as well. It's just like the staff, you would select that button to get you back. So students have obviously a prettier version than we do as staff. So here's that self discovery. And if you select self discovery home, this is going to show you all of those assessments. You can take these assessments. As you can see, this counselor has taken some of the assessments. Um, so you can start to see their results here. Um, some of these assessments can only be taken once. So please be careful if you take them that you know that this is the only time you can take it. So courses, this is still under construction. So I'm not going to show this to you right now. Um, but know this is coming and there will be more PL on it. So let's look at careers. Um, this was that on that staff side, that was just that very plain list. So I had shown you um, actors. So let me pull up actor. Here it is. So here is actor. See how it already looks different with this nice little card. Gives me a brief description here that it requires a high school diploma to do this and that here is my base salary and then I can quickly favorite it if I want. If I want more information, I can, um, sorry, I'm struggling here. There we go. We can hit actors to dive into it. As you can see on the other page, I favorited it. I can also favorite it here, but here, see how theirs looks a lot prettier than ours did. And when I scroll down, I have different graphics. The wages across the United States is way better than the list we saw on the staff side because I can hover over the states to see the base salary. Obviously, you don't want to be an actor in Indiana based on that. So there's a ton of information here. So if I come back up to the top, I can toggle over to that skills and experience. Then I can hit the wages again, which gives me another look at that map. And then upcoming events. This is a piece that's not on the staff side, 
This will show you events that are near you for work-based opportunities for students to check out or sign up for. Um, for acting, there's nothing around here to see that there's something going on right now. So once again, I favored it. I will unfavorite it. It's that easy to do that. And as the staff member, I could always go back to the staff site and look at this account and see what they favorited. Then for colleges, it's the same thing. It has a couple more buttons here in that I can look at, let's find my perfect college. Let's dive into the college and do virtual college visits or plan my visit. Let's apply here. And then they put scholarships under here as well. And it's local, national, or college-specific scholarships will all be found here in that one spot. And then here is the student planner where they can look at their goals, their tasks, and then they can also look at their to-do or their calendar that will show them what's coming up for work-based opportunities or college visits within their school. So that's the student experience in a really big rush. That's also the staff experience in a really big rush. Um, go ahead, get into your account, play around, have fun. Um, we're still working on the different nuts and bolts of Navient, so continue to stay tuned for more information. Um, let me go ahead and close out of this demo. And then if you are one of my unique users that have that district edition and you want to get out of your school and go look at another school you work with, if you come up here to the right and hit the gear, if you hit log out, it will log you out of your account in that school and go back to the district edition and you can switch schools that way. Um, if I would sign out of here from this Blackhawk, this teacher only has access to this school, I would just be signing out of the site altogether. So as I said, this was a quick and dirty, as Eric likes to say, run through of Naviance. I don't expect you to know all the ins and outs, but we have put all of this information in bite-sized videos on the HCMU. So we have the slide deck there. We have typed instructions if you're someone who likes to read it and look at pictures. The slide deck has GIFs in it. It has links to the uh, programs on the site. And then in the very bottom of the slide deck is resources. There's your instructions. There's the Naviance course book. And then here is that video playlist that will give you all of those bite-sized videos. And then if you need the PGPs or need to access these documents again, they will always be on the HCMU. I expect by the end of the week for them to be up live and ready to go on the HCMU for you. And then I will also be adding more PLs. This is just the introduction. We have career and assessments coming. There's college research tools, there's success planning, and then our trainer from Naviance will be at Ignited this summer. He is coming. He's going to train us. He's going to do his version of the introduction to Naviance. His is a lot longer, a lot more in depth. Then he's also going to do career planning and assessments live for you if you want to sign up for that session. And then his final session is a new one to us. And it is going to be a, I want to say it's a, I think it's the toolkit session. So his third and final session at Ignited will be a new session we have never seen and I'm excited to share it with you. And I hope to see you all at Ignited. And then I know my guidance counselors and coordinators, I will see you August 5th when we do it there as well for when we do eDocs. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great summer.